Hi, this is Kevin, and today we're going to talk about the cost threshold for parallelism setting in SQL Server. All my contact information is on the screen. Hit me up if you have any questions, and we're going to move on. Anytime you run a query in SQL Server, the internal query optimizer takes each part of it and assigns a, an associated cost value to that portion of the query. So there's a cost. It's not specifically in terms of CPU ticks or time or anything like that. It's a it's a it's a non-specific number. Uh, Brent Ozar likes to refer to each of these costs being worth X number of query bucks. What you get is when you have a select or an order by or a join, each of these pieces has a little bit of a cost associated to it. And the total cost of that query is what this setting deals with. The more a query does, the more expensive it is, not unlike a, a bicycle versus a car. Lots of moving parts on each one, but considerably more so in a car, and it's more expensive. If you have a fairly low cost query, by default, SQL Server will use one processor to run that query and give you back your results. If it's more complex, joining multiple tables, maybe throwing some functions in there, any number of other pieces and parts, SQL Server will run a parallel query, and it'll use multiple processors to do that for you. Essentially, if your setting is too low, you're telling SQL Server to take out a loan application to buy a cup of coffee. And that doesn't make any sense, especially if you've already got your $5 in your pocket that you can just, you know, whip out the cash, off you go with your coffee, and you're done. So that said, let's go ahead and jump into the demo of how to actually change this. Do not do this in production. You especially don't do it in the middle of the day because this affects plans that are already stored in the plan cache, and it will flush those out when you make a change to this whether you increase it or de decrease it. Doing your test system, check it out, make sure it's something that you actually want to do. All right, we're going to connect to my database engine here, my standard instance that I test with. We're going to go to properties of the instance, and we're going to go to the advanced. First off, we're going to look and see that I've got eight processors here. We'll go to advanced, and down here towards the bottom, we see cost threshold. And this number of five, if this thing takes five cost units, or query bucks, again, as Brent Ozar and team like to call them, then if something is one, two, three, four, five, and it's a fairly simple query, one CPU. Once it gets over that, it's going to use multiple CPUs. So I'm going to change this to 25, which is kind of the standard most DBAs are going with now. A lot of them also will tell you 50. The reason for that is one CPU in today's hardware is light years faster than one CPU in 10 or 15 years ago hardware, which is how long that five setting has been around. That setting is a default from the installation, and you cannot change it at install time. It has to be changed post-install in a script or just right here in, in the dialog box. Don't confuse it with the max degree of parallelism. That is telling SQL Server how many CPUs it can use. Zero it means use as many as you want. One or any other number restricts any query to that number. So if I wanted to change this to where it never uses more than half of my CPUs for any one query, I can set it to four. Now it may use the four on one side of the motherboard for one query and the four on the other side for a different query. It's not going to, you know, there's other ways to set it to just never use the, the four on the right side. That's a whole different topic. But for, I leave that to the default unless I have a specific reason not to. But when I install a new system, this always changes to a minimum of 25, unless I absolutely know that a different number is appropriate. When you do this, you hit OK, and I can even go in here and show you that it flushed a bunch of stuff right here in my error logs at the top. Right here, this is a message that is very, very wordy. It says, I just flushed your plan cache because you changed something that impacts your plans. So that's it for today. I got it done in under five minutes as promised. Have a great day. Feel free to share this, contact me, whatever you want to do. Talk to you later.